So you got questions? Yeah. See, I put a timer on that. <laughs> we're, super, we're super ghetto on episode one, so don't even worry about that. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> production thing, production, production. Yes. But um, yeah, you got some questions. Where'd you get the questions from? Uh, Instagram. I got uh, DMs. So they keep changing Instagram up. Like, I mean, the layout. Like, oh my gosh. Let me try to find them right now. Okay, so actually I got a couple questions here. I'm gonna check um, the Instagram story that I put up and see if anybody responded. All I seen was like a threat from rappers. <laughs> when there's so much like positive sex talk to have, oh my gosh. All right. Oh my, I didn't realize there was these much uh, questions. Um, okay. Jeez. That's what's going on over there? Yeah. So, okay. Again, I respect your privacy, so I'm not going to say your name. But Do they want their name to? Is it in the comments or is it in the question? Oh, uh, it's in your, your thing. DM, yeah. So, okay, nice. They said, they asked me, uh, Do you think foot jobs are more normal or more on the fetish side? Mm. And I was, I would say that the best way to answer that is if somebody is enlightened into fetishes and they understand what feet fetishes are, then it's normal. I find feet fetishes normal, right? Because I've specialized in that area. Okay. Where I've had feet slaves and I've had my feet um, nicely caressed and sucked and a lot of beautiful stuff happened. So I understand Jeez. the language of foot fetishes. The person has to be in tune with it in order to understand it, in order to accept it. Nice. Right? Nice, nice. Okay. Next one. Is there a nice way to ask for head? Hmm, that's a great question. It is. Very, very good. Um, again, depends. Even when you're in a long-term relationship, I still find that there's still a lot of like complications on when you get down to business. Mm. Sometimes there's so much tension in the relationship on a regular basis that to even ask sometimes is pride driven where you don't ask, you just expect. Right. <laughs> I'm a bougie one. So like sometimes I just fucking expect because I'm always ready to go <laughs> more times. You know, usually it's um, depending on the language. I know what I say. <laughs> what do you say? <laughs> can, you kiss it? can you kiss it down there, shorty? Mm. You say shorty? Well, what, whatever I choose. <laughs> Whatever, um, what do you, what's the word that you use for that? Um, sweet nothing bae? that I use, uh, you know what I'm saying? Do people say bae, like casual? I don't know, I don't like bae. Mm. Me personally, but it, it's used. I've never been called certain names, so. Well, you know what I'm saying? But babe, shorty, hun, whatever the, 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 the insert word there, you know, can you kiss it down there? Mm. which means more than just kiss it down there because if you just peck it then it's like <laughs> really I, I wasn't like peck. saying literally just kiss it and like come back up like <laughs> oh my and I, I noticed that a lot of people have different language on how they ask for it mm. I haven't like not everybody uses the traditional like um, can you do this or like even when they're offering it too they use different language so what um, about the overt like yo can you suck my dick that has to be somebody you don't know like well enough that's probably just like a fuck friend or something mm. but like i don't know <coughs> because i'm pretty raw with things but i'm never in a demanding tone because like I, even coming out of my mouth it sounds like a turn off to like yeah. it would be a turn off to a woman it's, it's a bit abrupt yeah so i don't know in that context but um there is a nice way it's just you got to be creative with it and if you're already starting with floor, floor play and stuff like that, and then you're kind of gauging the person, like yanking their head is not going to do it. Like, you don't just grab somebody's head or tell them, like, yo, dick, or yo, <laughs> lick. You don't just do that. Like, there is nice ways to do it. And I think the only best way to do it is with a nice way. So, yeah. That's a great question. Um, next question is, when giving head to a girl, where would you place your hands if not in the vagina? Um it depends if i guess if you're doing oral you could do it there's different ways she could be over you she could be 
on her back. So it depends on what positioning you're in. You just hold her body because a lot of women, I think, enjoy being touched and stimulated in different places. So to feel the obvious is if she's on her back and her legs are open, you think you're just going to finger her and that's a wrap. It's like that might be a little bit aggressive. If you're squeezing her legs, you're going up her thighs, you're going down her legs, you maybe, you know, touch her ankles. Like try to find ways of foreplay to stimulate the body of the person that you're doing it to. Mm. Touch their stomach, like lift, arch their lower back, you know, like lift them up, engage with them. I think that's a really safe way to put your hands and not just feeling that you have to finger them while you're like going down on them. Because then it becomes just an aggressive approach. I think the sensuality part of sex is lost if it's just sexual aggression. I don't think that answer. Yeah. These are things I do. <laughs> <laughs> you know. Okay. Hmm. Let me see. I'm glad you got questions, yo. Let me go check mine now. I'm seeing like mm, check. You got you got like some people who are willing to ask some questions. I got some thuggy ass motherfuckers who are just like <laughs> Be nice nah, to be. Ricky's page, man. Be nice. Nah, be. <laughs> or maybe they don't. Okay. Maybe it's hard. Or maybe maybe the real truth is that it's awkward for a man to ask a man a question about sex. <laughs> They're like, what's this guy asking now, fam? Like, yo, <laughs> get back to the hip hop, bro. <laughs> the fuck, But bro? you're a man too. And you have sex and you have sexual interactions and, you know, positives and negatives. This so is true. At the end of the day, you're not labeling yourself a sex bird or an expert at sex, but at the same time, you're involved in the culture of sex because sexuality is present in hip hop. It's present in, you know, a lot of the other content that you focus on. So mm -hmm. you're even open enough to entertain or engage the conversation of sexuality. Yeah. Nobody's saying that you're here to diagnose or give anybody like an accurate depiction of what might be their issue or anything like that. No, I'm here to learn. A brother should be able to be like, yo, you know, I can't, I, I can't fuck this thing. You know, my thing won't like get up and thing like that. Like, it's okay to talk to a man because if your brethren can't be there for you or help you, niggas don't say that shit to each other. Whoa! <laughs> I'm just saying. I just thought that. niggas don't say that. Yo, fam, I was trying to smash her and my thing wouldn't get hard. Like niggas ain't saying that shit to each other. Well, I'm uh, not in the conversation. Not in my crew, at least. <laughs> but I would hope that like people can be open about you know their. <laughs> sexual i guess mishaps it's like bloopers <laughs> sexual bloopers you know what we might tell each other when something's wrong like yo fam i think she might have burnt me it's only when you're blaming the girl that it's a bonding vibe with the next dude right mm. I we only we only bond on negative things <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh what is the love man the support. yo fam if you fuck it from the side yo, i heard that niggas. makes the girl weak i don't know maybe suggest something to the guy or your friend, I don't know, something. People have to be more open. Man up, brethren. And talk the real things to them. Like, it's okay. I mean, you can do it with me, like, for sure. Get comfortable. That's, this, is, this is what this is for. <laughs> yes, Just exactly. hit, hit up Zay. <laughs> She'll answer the questions. The, the, the questions that you'll be like, yo, I wonder if I could ask the man them this. Nah, they're going to clown me, fam. Ask Zay. I won't Zay laugh Link. at you. Like, I won't. Facts. I don't. The idea is, I've read a few questions already, and there's no, like weird feelings about it it's real stuff and i love the fact that people are engaging in this way mm, so how does he know mm -hmm. another question is what makes you want to fuck a person mm. i think it's very much that um oh my gosh over the years you just get so much sure about how to respond to questions like this about sexuality and preference because I think when we were younger, we had like the ideal celebrity or the perfect body type that we imagined ourselves having sex with and yeah. thought that that was the way to go. Then we have real life. Then we have family situations. Then we, you know, go through different things. Parenthood, we experience things. We go with people that we have serious situations with, people that we hold down, people that disappoint us, people that we feel loved by, people we love, people we get disappointed by that leave us, that cheat on us, that we feel deceived by. So... It's hard to say. It depends on what period we're in mentally. Mm. Because if I'm in a happy relationship, not happy, I don't like using that word. It's so subjective. If we're in a satisfying relationship and sex is good, you know, finances are all right, we're at open communication, we're good to go. Why would I want to fuck another person? Like if that area is being, that void is being fulfilled. Mm -hmm. 
if I'm fighting with somebody on a regular basis, they don't do what I want sexually or if we're just at differences and it's constant fighting, bickering, unhappiness and, you know, trauma, like in regards to like some real fighting or whatever the case is. I might be more vulnerable to want to fuck somebody just to feel better about myself. Um, I want to fuck somebody to experiment because I'm not getting fucked, first of all, maybe, or maybe I'm not enjoying it mm. because the default person is the same person that I'm always like in chaos with. So how we determine who we want to fuck changes and the type of person we want to fuck changes as well because mm. people go through different stages. Some people are bi-curious and they might start feeling a connection or attraction to the opposite sex or the same sex. And depending on the sexual situation, they might actually go another route because of that stimulation. So determining who, like, who you want to fuck is subjective. Mm. It depends on your mental state. Yeah, 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 yeah. Okay. Um, you got an email? Uh, I didn't get any emails, but... Let's do one more. And then we'll uh, <laughs> get to uh, the, 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 I guess, the interviews. Yeah. segment um why does anal feel better i think because it's who's that uh, sorry i don't want to <laughs> no it's a it's a, it's a question right <laughs> you i'm, not, I'm not trying to judge anybody for the question but is My it a man or covering or, it so he doesn't see the name <laughs> yeah, yeah is it a man or a woman who's ans- asking the question with online identities it's hard to tell but um mm. gee, why does anal? because i feel that's that's a ob- subjective question no not really because g- girls still fuck girls anal and vaginal guys mm. do the same so and then there's transgendered right so which demographic are we catering to with this question i'm kind of being generic with my response well okay i guess and anal doesn't mean penal penetration either it doesn't mean that it's a penis going in there you know like well you know what answer it the sorry. way you want to answer it because that's your show <laughs> <laughs> well it's meant to be open-minded but i think anal um ah <sighs> Okay. I think depending on what is going in the anus, because you can be fucking somebody and or going down on them oral and then you are putting fingers in the ass. Now that makes the sex feel better or and more enjoyable when that part process is happening. Mm-hmm. But for some people that just like anal sex, it's just their preference. They just get off more because there's also that prostate area in the ass that gets enlightened and that gets that pleasure that some people just really enjoy and need to get off on. And sometimes that is just that extra heightened level of pleasure than vaginal. And some people can ignore the vagina completely. It's just whatever floats that person's boat, but you could be putting many things in the anus and that's considered like an anal penetration. Doesn't have to mean that it's, you know, penis in asshole. Mm. It could be a sex toy, it could be fingers, it could be a tongue, it could be many forms of um, sexuality. So the specifics have to be relevant when you're talking to anal, but yeah. I know my experience um, with anal pleasure, but that's why the language has to be used correctly. Like anal penetration with penis or a specific thing, or is it just anal in the sense of something going in there? Yeah. Hey. Yeah. <laughs> hey, yeah. Alize knows. Alize is giving you the... What is this? It smells so good. Um, it's like a cloud. It's some, something pink. <laughs> okay. Yeah. I always be smoking that, 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 that gasoline. Um, <laughs> let's cut to a quick break. Okay. Um, and then we'll get into our... our I'll let you... Use me as a guinea pig to ask these questions. Beautiful. <laughs> See, that's what I like. He just lets me assume that control. He didn't even try to like hey, challenge it. Yeah. We do it. For, I, I, listen, it's for the audience, yo. You know what I'm saying? Are I'm, you not I'm a, necessarily a submissive guy? Um, mm, a break time. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll say that for the interview. Okay. All right. All right.